So we're here with CEO Reek. Come on, CEO man. Reek is in the house. CEO Reek the sneak. Y'all are like, me <laughs> from Clubhouse. You already know what time it is, man. What's the deal, though? Oh, yeah, let's talk about Clubhouse because really um, that's how you first made your name was on Clubhouse. And um, that, I guess for, for some people, Clubhouse has really been a great way to communicate with the masses. Yeah, I, I would say that. You know, Clubhouse, you know, I, I look at Clubhouse like a gateway of opportunity. If you've been blowing up people's DM on Instagram and shit like that, you know, Clubhouse give you that opportunity where it's like big ass party line. You know what I'm saying? You just go in there, hey, raise your hand, you get put on stage. You may be on there with Joe Budden, you may be on there with P. Diddy, who knows? But Clubhouse is definitely uh, just a place for opportunity. Okay. That's the um, best way to classify it. So I was on YouTube. I was on YouTube and, uh, I remember it was the Academic 6-9 WAC 100 interview back in August. Um, right after that interview, I heard 6 9 on Clubhouse, I heard WAC, and I didn't know what the fuck Clubhouse was. I heard of it, but I'm not a social media dude. So when people say, hey, you know, he ain't, he ain't been on social media, who is this guy? You're right, I ain't been on social media. Um, but I heard them talking, I heard them in a room, and I said, hold on. I said... Anybody could download Clubhouse and get to talk to celebrities and entertainers. So in my mind, I said, you know what? I have a product. I draw. I do art. I do graphics. I said, if I can get in the room with one of these big names, at that point, all I got to do is say, hey, man, I do this. And, you know, if they fuck with it, then shit, I win. If they don't, then, you know, shit, at least I tried. You know, it's opportunity. I'm shooting for it every time. Okay, so when you first jumped on Clubhouse, uh, I saw you running the room called trolls nation or t rolls nation and it appeared to be a pro six nine fan group yeah a six nine fan base room yeah so i get over there well the dude he found me in another room talking shit and i get to that room i'm trolling the hell out of them i'm flaming them up i'm clowning them and, and they all say that like man re came our room he was giving us a hard time. I'm like, what the fuck is y'all doing? What is six nine fan base room? Y'all some super fans? What the fuck is this? He like, oh no, nah, man, we just being here chilling, man. We all fuck with his music. Um, at the time, I fucked with his music. I said, you know what? He do got good music. So you know, I can't take that away from the dude. Now all the other shit he got to doing, that's stat man business. I ain't finna talk about it. But as far as the saying shot, 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 I'm f hey, everybody was fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? It was he, he definitely. Uh, had, you know what I mean, the U.S. shook, you know what I'm saying, with that music, you know what I mean, he was shaking shit up, so um, eventually, you know, the people in the room, they grew on me, and I became a regular, and uh, shit, before you know it, man, I started uh, hosting the rooms and resetting them and creating content, so yeah, Trolls Nation, that, that was my first spot. Okay, so me, California, I'm from Los Angeles, I'm the west side, the Devil Lanes, 125th and Fig, um, my mom, my family, everybody grew up over there. And, uh, yeah, I was born in Bellflower. Uh, mom's got a spot out in the South Bay area. So, you know, I stayed at mom's house, back and forth from my family house in the city. So, um, yeah, California native. Now, I heard people on Clubhouse saying that he was affiliated with the Lanes. Yeah. Uh, is that true? Yeah, I'm from Langs. You're from Langs. Yeah, I'm from under Twin Street, yeah. That, that's something that you didn't ever really put out there when you was running the, these rooms on Clubhouse, huh? Negative. I always kept the business and the street shit separate. I said, you know what? If I'm going to come on here and be a content creator, let me make that main focus. I don't, I don't want no handouts and I don't want no one dealing with me a particular way because of any type of affiliations or where I'm from. So I just came and did my entertainment shit. I never mixed the two, though. Business and streets, those are two separate entities, so... Always, you know what I mean, push the business and uh, shit has been working for me. Yeah, so the way it came out was uh, I did the No Jumper interview um, with WAC 100 and uh, Adam 22, he said, so you from Cali, where, where you from? I said, LA, 120th and Fig. And if you know LA, you know what Fig is from 120th to 105th. It's the L gang, so, you know, people coincided that quick, but Certain people was already privy to that information on the app. I was never vocal about it because that's not what I was on the app for. I was on the app to, you know what I mean, get it back, create some type of content, entertainment, 
and uh, certain people that was also Damu's, you know, I made them privy to, like, oh, ooh. so certain people knew, but it was never nothing that I broadcast, and even to this day, that's nothing that I broadcast because that's not what I do as far as entertainment. Entertainment, I interview celebrities, behind the scenes shit, content creators, so that'd be my main thing, you know what I'm saying? I never, I never mix the two. It's always separate when it comes to uh, my business and uh, the corporation that I'm building. Well, what do you think was going on in, in your life at that time when you decided to, um, to affiliate with the Lanes? So, shit, been over there my whole life, you know what I'm saying? So, um, me and my friends, right off of 120th Orchard, you know what I'm saying, in the back streets, you know, coming together, that was just always our thing. And, you know, eventually, you know, we took that, we took that leap, you know what I mean? We jumped in, we said, you know what, we over here, this is what it's going to be. We already, you know what I mean, fuck with everybody, so it's like, you know what, we might as well just go ahead and stamp it and make it official. So 120th is on the south side of the 110, of the 105 freeway, if I got that correct. Right? Yeah. Um, the 105 freeway was under construction in the 90s, so you must have just been barely born, huh? No, I, rem no, I remember when it was being built. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay. Hell yeah. So they, they must have tore down a lot of houses over there. You know anything about that? With the homes they tore down and the communities that they... Nah, you know, my mom, she was born in 59, so she would know way more about that. Uh, you know, mom, she's old school, so, you know, she didn't tell me a lot about, you know what I mean, over there that way, you know what I mean, the whole crack era when it hit, you know, so, yeah, I'm familiar with it. Now, there's also, um, it's well-known area, you keep saying 120 and Fig. Fig is, a, is a, one of the probably most popular uh, whole strolls tracks in all of Los Angeles. That's a fact, that's a fact. <laughs> you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? It ain't on you, it's in you, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, everybody that come from that part of town, man, you know, got a, got a way with words, you know what I'm saying? So, so I went to a lot of high schools. Um, I went to Norbon, I went to Carson, I went to Gardena. Uh, I went to Pedro. Um, remember I told you my mom, she had got us a spot out in the South Bay. So uh, I even went to Castle Park in San Diego, Castle Park High School um, down there in Chula Vista. Um, Job Corps. Uh, shit, yeah, I done went to a little bit of everything. Why so much moving around? Man, just getting into bullshit. I ain't going to hold you getting into bullshit, you know, trying to... Uh, trying to get my point across. You know, you know, I'm a light-skinned, small dude, you know what I'm saying? I got to kind of, you know what I mean, puff my chest out in a lot of situations. And, you know, sometimes it worked out. Sometimes it was like, hey, they don't want you coming back there, you know what I mean? Um, they sent me to a continuation school, Harbor Gateway. So, yeah, it was really just, just a lot of bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So, you, know, you mentioned uh, the No Jumper interview. Uh, what, what kind of response did you get from that interview? Because that's a pretty large platform. Shit, uh, shit the, the, the real response was just like, you know, hey, man, that's a good look. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see you doing your shit. You know, I respect your business ethic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, took, it like a, I took it like a learning experience. You know, I'm, I'm new to this field. Alex, you've you, you been doing this shit, man. You've been rocking it. So, me, I, any type of those big things, Gilly, Wallow Academics, when, when we had a podcast with them, it's all a learning experience for me. I'm, I'm taking a position as student at that point. But through months and through years, you know what I mean, eventually I'll be the sensei of this shit. So, yeah, the main response was, hey, man, that's a good look. Salute. Proud of you, bro. Do your shit. Fuck what anybody got to say, bro. Keep it, keep it professional, keep it smooth. You're going to go somewhere.